all this talk about CO2 shortage, um, you know, no one enjoys drinking flat Coke, but um, although I don't mind it uh, in black tea, that's another story, judge away. Um, but, you know, everyone's sort of worrying about, will you get your, your Christmas turkey? And, and no one's really talking about, why do we need CO2? And uh, the, the reason is um, because we, we gas them. Uh, we do this with pigs as well in the UK. Um, now there are regulations about how long you allow for it to happen, but um, I've watched it. Like I've watched pigs being gassed and um, they don't look happy and they they kind of scream. And um, that's the pigs that got to be that old. Um, any kind of runts in the litter. In the UK, they're allowed to be killed by what's called thumping. Um, rather than go to the hassle of taking them somewhere, you can just pick them up by the back legs and thump them against the ground or against the wall. Um, and that will happen in front of the mother, too. Um, I just, if you want to eat meat and dairy, I could say it's none of my business, but it kind of is, because you, the CO2 emissions from meat and dairy production are so big that it's kind of, it is my business the way I feel like it would kind of be my business if you left a diesel car running outside uh, your house all the time or took flights to Sainsbury's. Like, it's everyone's business. But more than anything, I've seen what happens in the name of people who eat meat and dairy. I've seen really atrocities as best practice. Like if you eat eggs, we don't need the male chicks, right? We always need to rehatch new females because they lay eggs. So legally in this country, do you know what happens? The minute the boy chicks are born uh, and they figure out it's a boy chick, they toss them into a shredder alive. They watch each other being ground up alive, kind of moments after hatching. I've seen all that stuff. I didn't have to see that to go vegan. You don't necessarily have to see that to go vegan. You can swerve seeing that by going vegan. But if you're not vegan, I think you have to go and watch those things. You go and watch Cowspiracy or any of them, Earthlings. It doesn't matter. Because these are the things that happen in your name. And if, if you're refusing to watch those things that are happening, funded by you and your money, then you don't have a conscience and you can't say you care about animals. Sorry for being angry and ranty, but this is a hard time. You know, it's never been easier to be vegan. And that's why I'm finding it harder and harder to deal with you not being vegan.